Gene is a mythic support brawler that attacks by shooting magical smoke balls out of his lamp and also has the ability to pull his enemies into his location. He's a very handy support to any team comp. And today we're going to be looking at 7 quick tips to help make you a better Gene player. Bailey's death and Debbie's too. If you want to see weekly Supercell content like this, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. And without further ado, let's get straight into it. Coming in at number one is know his matchups. I made this graphic so you can pause and look at it whenever you need a reference to see in general what his matchups are. He tends to do really good against throwers and people that he can outrange like Shelly and Colt and Rico. And he does a fair job against certain sharpshooters. But overall, he is definitely really bad against tanks and people that have high health that he can't kill with his three shots. Of course, this is totally situational and you might get into a matchup where you can take out a tank or take out one of those brawlers in that bad list. But in general, this is a great starting point for you to know who you can match up well against in a lane and who you shouldn't go after. Tip number two is auto-aim his super. I know what you're thinking. Why would you ever auto-aim anything in this game? In general, auto-aim is reserved for close range situations where you can make sure that your shots are going to connect and connect quickly. And that's the key here with Gene. Because Gene's super comes out so fast, you're almost guaranteed to hit every time as long as you're within a 7x7 seven seven tile radius and you're ahead of the brawler you're shooting at. So that means technically that you have to be ahead of them by one tile horizontally if you're running left to right or vertically if you're running up and down the map. And just like tip number one, this is a situational tip. You're not always going to want to auto-aim. But in general, if you can get some practice and memorize how far you need to be to connect the auto-aim super, you'll definitely land more pulls more often. Tip number three is play team games. Gene is a support brawler. He is great at supporting other teammates. He doesn't do very good on his own, and that's why I don't recommend playing him in Solo Showdown. If you can manage to get Gene to 1,000 trophies in Solo Showdown, you're an absolute goat, and you should try out for the pro leagues. <laughs> but for the rest of us, Gene is better off on a team. Brawl Ball and Gem Grab are two of Gene's best game modes to play him in. He can pull people away from teammates so they can score goals. He can break barriers to get out of the way for a ball going into the goal. And he also clutches up really nicely in Gem Grab when you need to pull somebody that has a lot of gems at the last minute. I like using BrawlStats.com to see which team comp best fit Gene and also which maps he's best on. Tip number four is pull into your teammates. Whenever you get Gene super fully charged, it's best to pull any opponent that you can't take out on your own into your teammates so they can finish them off and gain an advantage in a game. Be careful, however, when pulling short range high damage brawlers like Shelly, Bull, or Jackie that can actually end up wiping you if you don't time this right. If you do get into a situation where you need to pull one of those types of brawlers, just pay attention to how much health they have and make sure that your team can take them out before they take you out. Tip number five is time your gadget. Gene's gadget is incredibly useful in a number of situations. In Brawl Ball, you can use it to push the ball out of the hands of an opponent. In Siege, you can use it to push the robot off of your safe. It can be used to interrupt an opponent's super. You can even use it in a desperate moment to gain back some of your health. So that's why it's so important that you make sure to save these for those extra special situations that could actually clutch you a game. One example of how not to use Gene's gadget is to pull someone in with your super and then realize that they're too strong for you to kill and having to gadget them away from you just so they don't take you out. And don't worry, we've all done this. Just try to avoid it unless the situation absolutely demands it. Tip number six is super run and shoot. As soon as Gene's super connects onto an opponent, it starts automatically pulling them towards you and you can shoot them at the same time. And not only that, but if you're running away from the super, you can gain a tile or two of added distance to that super, pulling them even further than the original distance of the super itself. In most cases, getting that extra distance away from the opposing team can really benefit you and your teammates to get an advantage in the game. And finally, tip number seven is duo with shotgunners. In duo showdown, Gene best partners up with short range, high damage brawlers like Shelly, Bull, Daryl, Tara, and others that can output high damage from short distances. The obvious reason is just like in tip number four, you can pull your opponents into that shotgunner or that short range high damage brawler and take the opponents out very quickly. But also because Gene is fragile against these types of brawlers if he doesn't have someone protecting him from up close. And there you have it. Are there any tips that you know of for Gene that can help us? Please let us know in the comments below. And as always, I want to thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please be sure to leave us a like and hit subscribe for more weekly Supercell content. And we'll see you next week on Bailey's Dad. Bye-bye.